Hello again everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. Look at what I'm making today. I love these candles. These I got, they're the little ones at the Dollar Tree. Okay, just for a dollar. I'm going to teach you how to stamp on tissue paper today and adhere this to the candle. This is a beautiful stamp set. Let's talk about that for just a moment. Called Merry Patterns. This is a hostess stamp set. Now, I know $300 is a lot of money, um, but to qualify to get this stamp set for free, that's what you have to do. Either sell $300 or buy $300 worth of product. Um, and then you get this stamp set for free. This only runs until the end of October. So if um, maybe you have people in your office or friends or get together and then get this stamp set and pass it around. Um, I love it. It is, tis the season, and you can, it has a beautiful Merry Christmas right here. I love that font on that Merry Christmas with the exclamation point. And then we have a To Be Jolly. And our reindeer is two-step stamping. So are these candles are so much fun to do. And then this part of the seasons goes into that season right there. Isn't that nice? That's a great stamp set. So I'm going to get everything set up and we're going to talk about how to make this adorable little candle. These will be featured at my craft show also next month. Back in a minute. We're going to be working with photopolymer uh, stamps. So I do have my foam pad and I did put a little piece of scrap paper here because the tissue paper is very thin. Okay. Honest to goodness, guys, I found this paper, okay, in the bottom of my closet. It is all kinds of wrinkled up. It was in a gift bag, and um, so, but I got it out, and I thought, well, I'm at least going to try it and see if I can even do it. I also wanted to talk to you about the lights at the dollar store that have the um, little tea light, okay? And you just turn this on. They are beautiful. They really are. But I've made three and I've had trouble. The wax on it is very, very thin. Um, and I see demarcation um, with the tissue paper into the wax. I don't know if you can see this on, on here. And um, the wax being so thin, it melts very, very quickly. As you can compare with these two, this is definitely nicer. It adhered better, and this is a solid wax candle. I got the small ones. They even have larger ones for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. Let me show you this that I did. Um, this I did. I love the way the tree came, but again, it's so large that you really see the demarcation here where the tissue paper and the candle meet because the wax is so thin. Then I stamped the little reindeer but I didn't like the way that it went off the paper here without his nose. And then I didn't like that this was so straight here that you could see it. You know, so that's why I went to something smaller. And I'll show you how we cut this out. Okay, then I did another one in the tea light. Because I was really trying to get something nice with these tea lights. I love the thinking of it that, wow, you don't have to burn the wick. It would look so pretty. Um... Thanksgiving Christmas but again because the wax is so thin I'm not pleased with the product the way the product comes out at all um, so and then I didn't like doing anything big on it like this because of again the wax being so thin so I'm taking my tea light ones back to the Dollar Tree and trading them in for these because this was a lot of fun and really came out nice. Now, this piece of tissue paper has those little sparkly dots in it. Of course, you don't need to use that. This is, honest to goodness, it was in a gift bag at the bottom of my closet, just crimple, crimpled up. So, so I thought, well, we'll try it. Okay, so we take the basic black, and we want to take the outline of the candle right here. Okay, really ink that up nicely. Get them good black nice and solid. Okay, now I just kind of hold this down with my fingers and just stamp it toward the middle 
of the tissue paper. Just like that, that's perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to do the, um, the flame. I used crushed curry right here. Got that right there. Just get it in the crushed curry. And I am going to pull this down a little bit, okay? Just to get over this and just to look through the what well, that's the nice thing about photopolymer. Get close. There we go. Perfect. Oh, those little flames are adorable. Just adorable. Okay. Now I like cherry cobbler at the holiday season. So I'm going to do my candles. The first doesn't matter which set you pick. The first set I'm going to do full strength of cherry cobbler. Line your candles up with the ones that they match up with. They're perfect. Full strength. Beautiful. Now the second set, ink up with cherry cobbler. And I'm going to stamp off. Okay. And then come back over here and really line that up so you get the ink in the middle of those black lines of the candles right there. Beautiful. And then that gives us the second generation of that color. And that's how I got that. Um, the pinkish and the red right there right there okay see how it bleeds through so that's why I you know just put a little paper underneath it plus I had to stamp off anyway so that killed two birds with one stone now garden green and the little pine and we want it like it like the candles are on a mantle with our pine here and the last one, I didn't turn it, but this one I am. I realized that I like oh, the bristles sticking out there. Come to the bottom. And let's see, we'll just come right there. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> now, here's the secret of, this is what I think. The secret is to cut close. Okay, let's remove this. I'm going to cut it close. Now, again, this is a small candle. You know, what? what is that, three inches? So, you know, you could get a four-inch candle and not have to cut so close, but I think the less tissue paper melting into the wax, the better you are. Okay. At least that's right. Because I had trouble with the tea light ones where again the wax is just thin you can't help it that's just the way that they are made so there's my little um, embellishment for my candle like I said I cut it nice and close I'm going to bring this candle in right here and just some store-bought wax paper cut a section off and now Take this right here on your candle. Look how cute that is. Isn't that adorable, guys? That is just so sweet. I'm going to do these for my craft show. This is what I'm going to be doing in this craft room today. Now, get your fingers and hold this down. Okay? Make any adjustments. If it's crooked, you know, if you have any ink spots that you want to cut out, if it's rocked a little bit, I'm good. I'm happy with everything. Okay, now you take your wax paper. It's my fingers. With a bigger candle, I can't hold both sides because my hand won't wrap around. Okay, you take the wax paper and you put it over your image and push it out slowly. Hold this, make this like a handle. Hold it tight, okay? And see how tight I have that around that candle. Okay, it mashes everything nice and flat. 
Now you're going to take your heat tool, let me bring that around, and you're going to warm it up first, so we're going to get a little loud, just going to warm it up first, okay, and then I'm going to get it onto this candle where I am going to watch it melt and get a little shiny right into that wax. Do you see that happening on camera? Okay, and make sure that the demarcation of the tissue paper is gone and has melted into the wax. That's why I'm saying cut it close so you don't have a whole lot, you know, of melting to do because you don't really want the, the candle to drip. Okay, we're good. Okay, let me look real close here and just kind of examine it and if you see any lines bring your heat tool back in and just go back over it now while you've got it you know tight but even if you don't you could go but you know you could put wax paper back on it and go back over it again okay so I like that now I'm going to peel my wax paper away look guys isn't that perfect okay then I just love it. I love it. I'm so happy that the candles are just a dollar. And I mean, these are going to be great sell at my craft show. Now, I made this little ribbon again with the 10 second bow maker, but I wanted to show you this sheer ribbon. This is Old Olive Sheer Ribbon. It's in the annual catalog. And um, this is what I made my little bow out of. Oh, I'm just so happy. I got another one made. <laughs> So I'm just taking a glue dot, and where these um, pine cones kind of crossed, I'm just going to place my dot. And then I'm just going to put my ribbon right here. It just dresses that candle up. And of course, we need just a little bit of bling bling. So we're going to take a rhinestone. That's my daughter. I text her a picture of my first candle that I was so proud of and she's texting me back. Okay. Right there. A little bling. Oh, they are adorable. I hope you guys like the video for this weekend and today. I really had fun making these candles. And again, this stamp set is with a $300 um, hostess order. Um, if you want to get your friends together um, or you need to place a large order, now would be the time to do it. I know $300 is a lot of money. Um, so maybe you could get a few friends you know, together and place a nice order and then pass this around. Thanks again for watching. Remember, if you just order $25 in Stampin' Up! product from me, I'm going to send you these two free card kits. These are the card kits for October. Every month I change my card kits. I sure do appreciate everyone subscribing. I appreciate all my customers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get over there to my desk and make some more of these right now. Thanks for watching and have a great crafting afternoon.